Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. Today's leather free sneaker review is a great new drop from the Jordan brand. It is the Jordan 4 Deep Ocean, also known as the Jordan 4 Shashiko. I'm a little bit late to the party on these Jordan 4 Deep Oceans, but I absolutely love the way they look, so really happy to get this review out there. If you haven't seen one of my reviews before, I always look into five different categories when reviewing lifestyle sneakers like these Jordan 4s. At the end of the video, I'll give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you like what you see as going along, always click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. You can also drop any comments, and if you've got two seconds, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do take the time to click the little red subscribe subscribe button below on your device and if you click the little bell that pops up next to it you get a fresh notification every time a fresh video drops on the channel also early next year i am gonna do a giveaway as soon as i hit 4,000 subs i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed so far i really do appreciate all the support and let's get this review kicked off straight away by checking out this jordan 4 deep ocean shashiko out on feet So this Air Jordan 4 retro silhouette is known as the Deep Ocean colorway, but also it's called the Shashiko. That is because of the Japanese paneling styling that's been used on the uppers of these shoes. Now, I don't normally do this, but I'll get the box down for these because look at the patterns that you get on this box. This isn't your standard Jordan 4 packaging that you get with this box. The paneling that is on the shoes is reflected nicely on this box that you get for the shoe. Really do like that touch. Love the fact that it comes with a slightly different box, just from the standard ones that you always get with the Jordans. Now, with the uppers for these sneakers, on each shoe, it's very different. You get different laces for each sneaker. You do not get the other half of these laces though in the box. So you only get one red and one navy blue. The Deep Ocean colorway really is reflected throughout with the little white touches you can see on the paneling on the upper. Now the paneling is a textile kind of denim, touch to it so it does feel a little bit rough and it is very heavy set and it does feel heavy in hand. You get the little red Air Max bubble there with the Air Max midsole that you get on the Jordan 4s. As you flip the sneaker over, you've got kind of a clear gum at the heel and also at toe and then you've got more of a block white rubber with the navy blue and the red and you've got the Jordan branding there. As you move around to the back of the sneaker, You've got the standard Jordan embossed heel cup, which is incredibly heavy with the plastic. This is really more like a sea blue colorway and it does look really nice when the sun catches it. You also get the same uh, help here with the plastic panels that come across here to tighten up the top of your foot in these Jordan 4s. And then as you move up to the tongue, as you can see here, you get the Jordan branding embroidered on the tongue as well. They look so different. I love this textile paneling on the top. I love the Japanese influence on these sneakers. I just think they look so different and easy five stars in the looks department. Next, I want to test out how comfortable these Jordan 4s are. Normally, I would do this on my back doorstep, but it was completely stormy outside. So this next section is going to be a little bit different to other parts of my videos. Mm -hmm. 
These Jordan 4 Deep Ocean Shashikos are averagely comfortable. I couldn't take these out on the back door step today to test the midsole with loads and loads of pressure like I normally do in my other videos to see how bouncy and responsive they are because the weather was so bad I didn't want to risk the equipment or the sneakers to be honest. Walking around in these though, you can feel that you get some nice cushioning from the Air Max unit in the heel of the sneaker, but for the remainder of the shoe, it is quite firm underfoot. So that's why I'm only gonna say that these are averagely comfortable. And also, this Air Max technology that's used, I do feel that they're starting to feel a little bit outdated. Now obviously these are a retro shoe, so they're probably not gonna upgrade the original midsole that was in the sneaker, but there are just so many better technologies out there at the moment that if you are looking for something that's incredibly comfortable, I wouldn't recommend this shoe. Another reason I say that is because when you flex your foot, due to how dense and thick this paneled upper is, it does dig into the top of your toe slightly and make them feel a little bit uncomfortable when you're walking along. Don't get me wrong though, the amount of foam that they use on the upper of the sneaker, around the ankle and on the tongue, does make them a very nice snug fit on the top of your foot. Sizing wise, these are an absolute true fit for me. Don't worry about going half size up or half size down. I found these fit incredibly nicely. Next, I wanna move on to their weight where I wanna pop them on the scales. Oh, I expected these sneakers to be heavy, but 568 grams per shoe. These are monsters, absolute beasts of a sneaker. They're starting to hurt my fingers from holding them up for so long because of how much they weigh. That's over 1,130 grams you're wearing on your feet. Over one kilogram of sneaker that you're taking out with you when you're wearing these. Just so, so heavy. And it's just down to the fact that you've got so much on this sneaker. You've got so much material on the upper. You've got so much material used for the outsole. It's so chunky, this outsole on these Jordan 4s that it's just overall made an incredibly heavy shoe. Next, I wanna move on to their breathability to see if any smoke from the smoke test is gonna escape from this very, very heavily paneled upper. You can see from the smoke test that the only chance the smoke had to escape from this incredibly heavily panelled and dense textile denim upper was where the tongue meets the laces and the small holes just where the tongue didn't quite press up against the laces correctly was the only place that the smoke had a chance to escape which means these aren't going to offer you any breathability unfortunately and it's because they have such a densely panelled textile denim upper. Next, I wanna move on to their price. Now these come in at 190 pounds. That is a very high price for a pair of sneakers. It's gonna bring me on to my overall score for the shoe. Now I really, really, really am struggling to score these sneakers because I absolutely love the way that this sneaker looks. And this sneaker really is all about looks. It's just been designed to look good and not really offer you other functionality other than just looking absolutely amazing. For that reason, I'm gonna give these sneakers a very strong four stars because I absolutely love the way that they look. These are one of my top sneakers looks wise for the year, just because it's a pair of Jordan 4s that isn't covered in leather and they look incredible. The paneling, the fact that they're unique, each sneaker is unique, it just looks great. Unfortunately, they do really fall down quite badly on breathability, price, and weight. So just take into consideration those things when you're looking to buy these, because looks-wise, they are killer. If you've liked what you've seen today, please do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up before you leave. You can also follow me on Instagram. And again, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon for another video and hopefully for a giveaway in the new year. Thanks for watching, bye.